Welcome, welcome back to the channel. And today I have a special video for you guys. I wanna show you guys exactly how you can build business credit step by step without spending a dollar. There's so much information on the internet as far as YouTube, Google, whatever you use to search something, you can find something about business credit. And nowadays business credit is getting a lot more popular than what it used to be. So everybody and their mom wants business credit. And I was one of those people. I have a lot of business credit. I have over 200K of business credit. So I kind of know a little bit about how it works. So I want to give you guys step by step on how you can build it without having to buy all these accounts that everybody preaches on YouTube and everything. Everybody preaches on Instagram. They tell you you have to pay $80 to get a merchant account here and $90 to get a merchant account here. And then you have to spend that every single month just to keep the trade line going. So I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build business credit without having to spend a lot of money to get a trade line that reports to your business. Let's get into it. Okay, so there's a couple different ways that you can start to build business credit. And a lot of the more popular options are getting net 30 or net 60 vendor accounts. Now, all these are just accounts that are tied to different merchants that a lot of people shop with. So some that you may be familiar with if this is not your first video that you've watched about building business credit. Quill, Granger, there's places that do net 30 accounts which allow you to pay in full within 30 days. So I can go and buy something from these websites or from these companies and I won't have to pay them for it, quote unquote, for 30 days. So I can buy it on January 1st and won't have to pay it until January 31st or February 1st. So that's all a net 30 account is. It's basically a vendor account that you have 30 days to pay off. And a lot of people will preach that you need five, six, seven of these accounts. But the problem is getting into these accounts, you have to spend $70, $80. So I found a way that I was able to get around spending that much money, especially for things that I wasn't going to buy anyway. Like some stuff on those websites you'll never buy for yourself personally. So you're literally just buying things you don't need just to get a trade line to go to your business credit. Now, what net 30 accounts do do for you is they add a trade line to the business. So the same way in personal credit where I have a credit card or I have a loan and it reports to my credit, that's called a trade line. So for business, it's the same way, but not everybody reports to your business credit. So I can go get a business credit card with like American Express, for example. American Express does not report business credit cards to a lot of the big business bureaus. So like your Experian business, your Dun & Bradstreet, American Express does not report to those people. So not every single business credit card can be a business trade line. So it's very important to make sure you pick business credit cards that do report as a business trade line so you're able to keep continuing building business credit unless you just want a card really, really bad, maybe for the rewards or the benefits that it gives. You wanna make sure that you get a car early on that will help you build the business credits foundation. So all in that 30 account is, is just a vendor account that you're allowed to pay 30 days after you've already bought something. Net 60 accounts work the exact same way. It's just the difference in the time that you have to pay it back. So in a net 30, you have 30 days to pay it back. In a net 60, you have 60 days to pay it back. It's the same, same thing, not Everybody reports as a trade line though. There's only a couple people that actually will report this to one or all three of the big business bureaus. So your DMB, your Experian, and your Equifax. There's only a select few that will report to one, if not all, of the bureau. So you have to make sure you choose them carefully. But I have two for you that I use personally, and I always advise my clients to use this when trying to build their business credit from scratch before we go ahead and personal guarantee all the business credit cards or business loans that we want to do. So my favorite card to add when I just start a brand new business is going to be the Divi credit card. Now, the reason why I like this card is it's only tied to the EIN number. And all the EIN number is the social security number for your business. So when you go and register your LLC, you'll get an EIN number and you'll use that to then go apply for this card. You don't have to use your social security number. How Divi determines how much they're gonna give you and if they approve you is based off of your bank account. So if you're somebody that has a regular job, a regular nine to five, or you're self-employed, as long as you have some kind of money coming in, usually Divi will approve you unless your business was open like yesterday. But usually they'll still approve you, you know, based off that bank account. Now I've seen some people get denied and they'll just go back and do it again. And they'll put different numbers and they'll just, you know, tie their bank account to it, but they'll just put different numbers. They also will then get approved. I've seen people get denied, didn't get approved. I've seen people get 
approved like that in 10 seconds. I've seen people, you know, kind of do it all. So if you do not get approved the first time, don't worry. Just go back and do the application again, and you'll probably get approved. If not, then just do it again, and you'll probably get approved. The amount that you get approved for is not what you're looking for when you're trying to get this card. So if they approve you for $1, that's okay. Because guess what? You're only getting the car to use as a trade line. You're not getting the car to use as extra money to fund your business. You're not there yet. The point is just to build the baseline of your business credit. So you get this car to report to all three bureaus. You maybe buy a candy bar, you buy some gas, and you pay it off within that 30 days. Now you're reporting a positive trade line to your business. So the point is not the credit limit. The point is to use the card as a positive trade line so it looks like your business has a credit profile. With Divi, they do give you awards as well. So it's just like another credit card, but they do give you awards as well as reports to all three bureaus. So you can use the card maybe once a month. One time you use at the gas pump, you get, you know, three, four, five percent cash back. I mean, that's good. You were going to buy gas anyway. But using the Divi card, you're able to use the card for whatever versus you use one of the company merchant accounts like Quill or Granger where you have to buy from Quill.com. You have to buy from Granger. So you have to get all these products from places you probably would never shop at. So that's why I like to use these credit cards that report to the credit bureaus, the business credit bureaus, so I can just spend it on things that I was going to buy anyway. Okay, so the next card is the Till Full Card. Now, this card is a secured credit card. And if you don't know what a secured credit card is, you need to go back and watch my first video. I'm going to have the link down in the description. But it is a secured credit card. So I know this video says, hey, how to get business credit for free. Technically, it's still for free because you're going to get the money back. It's just kind of a small investment that you'll get back later. So what you'll do is you have to have minimum $500 to put in a secure card with Tillful. So you have to have minimum $500. And what will happen is you give them the $500, they'll give you the car, you use the car, they'll report it to all the different bureaus. And after about six months, they'll go ahead and give you your deposit back. And now you'll be able to just use the card as a regular unsecured card. But again, the point of this card is to use as a trade line. It is not to be used for the credit limit or to use it as extra money. It is purely supposed to be for the trade line. That is the number one priority. Now, if you get a high limit, go crazy. You know, do what you want to do. But my purpose is only to use it for the trade line to get my business up and running off the ground. Now, time for me to debunk everybody else that you've heard on YouTube. Using only Net30 and Net60's account do not build business credit to the point where you can just go apply for a whole bunch of different stuff and get approved. It doesn't work that way. Nine times out of 10, if you're going for credit cards, lines of credit, and your business is not making a substantial amount of money, you'll have to personally guarantee it. And by personally guaranteeing it, you're basically saying if you default on this on the business side, they can come after your personal. And to do this, they run your personal credit. So I always preach to have your personal credit in order well before you even attempt to go and get business credit because one, it makes things a lot easier. Two, it makes things a lot faster. And three, if you're able to do it, you might as well do it. If you need help fixing your credit report, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can contact my team and say, hey, I need a couple things removed and we'll go ahead and get them removed for you. But if your credit report looks pretty good and you do the fundamental things that I taught you in this video with the trade lines, you'll be able to get these business credit cards, get these business platinums, get whatever you want because your business is set up the right way and your personal credit is set up the right way. Once you merge the two, you got a beautiful baby. <laughs> you can end up getting whatever you want. So have good personal credit, do the fundamental things with the business credit, and you'll be able to go ahead and get the funding that you want to grow your business or to start that new business. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so you can get a notification every time that I post because I'm dropping new game every single week to help you guys either grow your personal credit score or grow your business credit. Either way it go, this channel is for everybody to level up. So I appreciate you for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next video.